Now is a very good time to start developing some good typing habits with PowerShell. For example, commandlet names in PowerShell are always a verb, followed by a dash, followed by uh, whatever singular noun you're after. So for example, process. Now it's real common when you're talking about these commandlets to kind of verbally omit the dash or the hyphen. So I would refer to this commandlet as get process. But don't get confused and type that as get process. There's always going to be that little hyphen in the middle. Now PowerShell is reasonably willing to let you be reasonably sloppy about how you space things out, but there are some instances where it's pretty picky about spaces. So in order to not have to remember where it's picky and where it's not, I recommend just becoming a neat typist right now. For example, uh, redirecting this list of processes to a file is as simple as doing something like this. Oh, or it's not. See, PowerShell is sensitive about spaces in some places. Uh, for example, it wants to see that command separated from the next thing by a space. Uh, then this operator, which I'm actually appending to an existing file, that would be the non-appending version, that needs to be followed by a space as well, so that each of these things sort of has its own little world to live in. The space lets it know that these are three separate things, and you can see that this is actually working. When you start typing longer commands and getting into parameters, it's kind of the same deal. For example, get WMI object is a commandlet that you'll meet eventually, and it has a class parameter, so we can punch in a class name there. Uh, and then it also has a computer name, and here's a fun trick. If you start typing just enough of that parameter name and hit tab, PowerShell will finish it for you. So there's really a little bit less reason to be sloppy. But don't go jamming all those things together. Really focus on neat typing. Uh, this is another trick you'll see later where I use some parentheses to enclose a command that I want to run first. And I always like to add a little bit of space just inside of those as well. Not necessary. PowerShell will let me jam that opening parentheses right up against the G, and it'll let the closing parentheses immediately follow the last T there. But just by getting into the habit of including these spaces, I'm doing two things. One, I'm less likely to run up against PowerShell's pickiness. More spaces are rarely going to hurt you. Fewer spaces can get you into trouble. The other thing I'm doing is making this a little bit easier to read. Uh, just if some poor soul comes after me later, or, or heck, if that's even me in six months, this makes it a little bit easier for me to go in and kind of figure out what was going on. Everything seems to be a little bit easier to read and a little bit more broken down and a little bit easier to follow and parse. So that's the lesson from this. Try to become a neat typist. It's, it's easy to get lazy. Use things like tab completion. For example, I can start typing a commandlet name and have PowerShell complete it for me. I can do parameter names and have it complete those too, like you saw. Use some of those tricks so that being a neat typist doesn't impose a lot of extra work on you, and it lets you have a nicer looking command line.